Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Beauty on a Budget. My name is Heather and today is Wednesday, December 4th of 2024. And so I had to, I'm in the middle of sewing and I had to stop because I had to go and um, do some blood work. So while I was out, I just did some quick little uh, shopping. So first thing is I stopped in at um, Winner's Home Sense. I was actually looking for like a ladle or a gravy spoon. I can't seem to find any of the ones I had. Um, I know I threw them in a box and I'm not sure where that box got put, but I went through and they've got books. And I say they're one of the best places to find books that are good for like uh, Christmas gifts and stuff. So I got these ones and my husband bought me one of these, like these uh, for my birthday. Um, one day and so before, was my birthday just before my no I can't remember it was before we moved so yeah it would have been just a few weeks before my birthday so I, I love this it's that soft velvety and it's got the shiny stuff so these are ten dollars each so I got George Orwell Animal Farm and Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice now these are going to be Christmas gifts for my kids I saw this one my son has quoted stuff in here so I just when I saw it I'm like I immediately thought of my son and then I've got a daughter and you know I just I know one of my daughters you know, likes Jane Austen so and then for myself I found this one now at first it's one of those ones that you know you I don't really um do these type of journals but this one, it was $5.99. It's called The Weekly Self-Care Project, A Challenge to Journal, Reflect, and Invite Balance. And I'm not somebody who does like this, you know, like I'd consider that more like new age type stuff and I'm not really into it. But what I noticed is that it's like, it's Bible based. And so as soon as, I don't know, I, for, I don't know what page, cause this is not, is this the one I had at the store? I'm trying to see, cause I had grabbed a couple and I put some back cause I didn't like the picture on the, is it this one? Yes, it was this one because I opened up right to where the um, bookmark is. And so the Bible verse is John 7, 37 and 38. And I'm like, oh, okay, that changed my mind right there just by reading that, that Bible verse. Um, I'm like, okay, I, you know, it's kind of like one of those things like I need to buy this and I have to do this. So of course the, this is the NLT version. So I'll read it just because it says anyone who is thirsty may come to me. Anyone who believes in me may come and drink for the scripture declares rivers of living water will flow from his heart. So I use that as a sign saying I had to buy this one. I'm not racing for my phone. I don't care. <laughs> so, um, if I'm down here. I'm not running up the stairs. My next stop was um, Value Village. So, I mean, I don't shop there often, but I did get a few things. Um, one of the first things I found was a whole bunch of the embroidery hoops. And I love embroidery hoops. I don't know where any of mine are. And so I got the small metal one. I thought it was plastic, but it's a really old one. It's got the little spring um, enclosure. I don't know, it looks broken to me. I will have to figure out how this works, but it was $1.99. And then I got oops, this one here, or is this a double set? So $2.99 for two. And then it was, this is the first one that really caught my eye. And I thought they went so much for this. It is like, it's an old one with the bolt and so it was a uh, $3.99 and I also found this recipe card so what is that just uh, something cross going across my phone okay this uh, Campbell's soup recipe card and so it's got all these um, recipes in here so it's all the different recipes and everything we make with Campbell's soups I love these type of boxes with recipes, so that was a good one. And I got this was $4.99. I don't even know what I get in here, so I'm just going to 
open this. Um, it's chocolate molds. That I know. Some of my chocolate molds um, cracked when we moved. And so I so I've got a couple like this. I got this one here to make the little thin mints or little after eight mints. Some more of these large, a couple more of these large ones to make the little cherry um, blossom chocolates. This one here to make other types of little chocolates. And, but it was this one here that is the reason I decided to get it. So this one here makes the big chocolate bars and it has all these different Christmas sayings and I thought that is perfect. I would spend like five, eight dollars just for this. So five dollars to get this and a whole bunch of other chocolate molds was definitely worth it for me. And then I went to the Dollar Tree. Now this one I got to check because some of their stuff is a dollar fifty and some is a dollar seventy-five. So I've got a burger press. Okay, uh, this burger press. Um, my husband bought me the attachment, the food grinder or meat grinder for my Kitchen Aid, and we've been making a lot of lamb burgers. So I thought this would be easy, help me make the burgers a little bit more even, so they'll all cook at the same time. So this was a dollar seventy-five. Um, I found this piece of material here is the crafter square it's 18 by 21 and it's got little ballerinas on it and i saw it and i know a friend of mine who's got a little girl who loves ballet and i just thought this would be perfect to make something for her birthday so i'll put that to side till the summer um i got some of this fusible interfacing i bought a piece of it and i did try it out and it was okay so I thought, you know, this would be, you know, a good idea. I'm doing some Christmas crafts. Um, I might need some of this. I don't know because I've got some, but I may not have enough. So these were a dollar seventy-five for a little piece of it. It's uh, 21 inches by one yard, so it's a long, skinny strip of interfacing. But I, you know, fusible interfacing. So I thought for that price, it's worth it to have a little bit around the house. And then when I first walked in, like I said, I. I'm doing a Christmas sewing right now. I'm actually doing these hay and kitchen towels. And then I found these cute little, they are double sided and it says gnome for the holidays on it. And they got the little gnome with candy canes and drinking hot chocolate. And then I found to mat go with it, the little plaid um, pot holders. And then I found two oven mitts. I couldn't find any that were the same. I just, this was all they had left. So I found one that said joy and one that says the most wonderful time of the year. And I'm like, I'm just gonna add that to what I'm already making today. So I'll be making two more of these little sets. And so these were, uh, okay. So these pot holders were $1.75. The oven mitts were $1.75. And these little hang towels were $1.50 each. A lot cheaper than Dollar Rama. Like that's where I bought my other ones from. But I couldn't find any. Dollar Tree didn't have any when I was there. But today they had some. So I grabbed them. Then I was over at Dollar Rama. I had to stop. I had to put it. Um, oh, there it is. I had to stop at the mall for after I got the blood, I needed to go get something to eat. <laughs> so I bought a bag of candy, but I thought while I was there, I'd grab a pack of the straight pins just cause I don't know where mine are. So a dollar 25 for a hundred little straight pins. And then they have this mirror um, mosaic tiles, a uh, dollar 50. And I went with the rose gold one. I just thought that would be really, you know, nice. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet but I love the rose gold. And then I got this little um, diamond art kit. So you get the three for $1.50. So you make a gnome, a snowman, and a gingerbread man. And then I also grabbed a couple of their little crocheting or cross stitching kits. So this was $2. This one's got all these cute little, they're all like cats or something stacked on top of each other. And then I did find a larger cross stitch kit for $3 for Christmas and it's got the little penguin and it says Merry Christmas. And then I stopped, one more stop, I stopped at, well, I was at Valley Village and I did walk through Salvation Army and I just didn't really find anything there that I was looking for. 
I still didn't find what I was actually looking for, but that's okay. But at the little thrift store here, I found this black lacy material for $3.50. Um, I know exactly what I'm going to make out of this. If it's big enough, I think it should be. Um, so it was 22 inches by 54 inches. So I will see how much there is here. Uh, you know, it's a nice piece of... Ooh, I love it. They had it there last time I was there and I didn't grab it. And I was like, oh, I should have grabbed it. And then I saw it today. So I grabbed it today. And then for $1.25, they have these little um, suction cup uh, wreath hanging. Um, so it says for it's inside your storm doors, inside of windows, mirrors, stuff like that. So I thought, oh, it'd be kind of cute. So I can, you know, put some little... Um, mini wreaths up if I want to put any in my kitchen. I thought I was going to. I don't know if I'm going to have time to make one. Um, then I got this for a dollar. So it's the florist um, tape uh, for a dollar. I don't know how much these cost. I do buy, I do have a little bit of it that I get from the dollar store, but I think I paid two dollars for my little roll and it's definitely not this amount. So I thought this was a good price for only a dollar. And then I was walking by the aisle. I wasn't even really going down that aisle and something caught my eye and then I had to go turn around and go look at it. And if this isn't the puzzle that I had when I was little, I had one that was so similar. I remember it. It's a little fairies having a tea party. It's by Parker Brother and it had a year. Um, I did read the year when I saw it. 1984. It was $1.75. I don't even know if all the pieces are here. I'll have to count and check that. But $1.75 and I really believe that I had this puzzle. Now it says 60 pieces. I don't know. It doesn't quite look like 60 but you never know. So I will make this puzzle later tonight. So that is what I went and bought today. So again, I just want to say thank you so much to everybody who's subscribing to my channels and watching my videos. And I'll see you in the next ones. Bye.